birds are one of the most charismatic group of animals and the only ones with feathers and adapted for flight. They are distributed worldwide across all habitats right from the hot deserts to the cold tundra regions. Goa too provides shelter to an incredible number of avian species. Goa, one of the best tourism destinations in India, is also an excellent bird watching hotspot and has been for several decades. The wide variety of habitats packed into India's smallest state provide home to more than 470 species of birds. The entire eastern boundary of the state is part of the Western Ghat Forests, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with many rare and endemic species of birds thriving here. The flame-throated bulbul, the state bird of Koa, can be best seen in these forests, in addition to other endemic birds like the white-bellied blue flycatcher and the very enigmatic Sri Lankan frogmouth. The forests provide breeding and foraging spaces to some large birds like hornbills too. The lateritic plateaus on the other hand suit birds adapted to drier climate. Due to the open habitats that these birds prefer, they too have developed cryptic colors to stay hidden in plain sight from any potential predators. The open habitat also favors birds of prey, which use the thermals arising from the heating up of the vast open landscape to soar up and look for their prey. The wetlands become alive during winter with the huge influx of migratory waterfowl and waders. In Goa, artificial tanks that supply water to the paddy fields during the dry winter months provide good feeding grounds for the migratory duck population that winters here, whereas the active as well as uncultivated paddy fields support a good population of waders and other skulking birds. Mud flats around the mangroves do support a host of waders like curlew sandpipers. The collared kingfisher, too, is a mangrove specialist species. The coasts, too, are excellent for migrating shorebirds like gulls, terns, and other waders. The open ocean too has pelagic birds which are suitable for living at sea for most of their lives and only return to shore for breeding. The summers and the monsoons are the peak nesting time for many of the resident species whereas some species only visit the area to breed. Larger birds like this crested hawk eagle prefer to nest by summers while the insectivorous birds wait till the onset of the monsoons when food availability is much higher and it's easier to take care of the chicks. Birds are apex predators and keep the ecosystem in balance in their respective habitats. They provide a variety of ecosystem services like pollination, seed dispersal, keeping a check on insect populations and are aesthetically pleasing too.